Wilma Rudolph, who was one of America's first major national superstars in track. Wilma Rudolph was born on June 23, 1940, in Tennessee, the 20th of 22 children. At age four, she contracted polio. Her doctors said she would never walk again. But with physical therapy, leg braces, and true grit, Wilma Rudolph was walking by age 12. During her high school years, Wilma Rudolph was a great basketball player, and Ed Temple from Tennessee State University saw her, and he saw a lot of potential, not only in basketball, but also in track. He had her work out with the college track team in the summers. At age 16, Wilma Rudolph won a bronze medal in the 1956 Melbourne Olympic Games for the 4x100 relay. Returning to the U.S., she attended Tennessee State University on a scholarship where Ed Temple continued her training. Four years later in the Rome Olympics, along with Wilma, almost the entire U.S. track team consisted of Ed Temple's runners. She was phenomenal in the 1960 games in Rome. The two sprint events, she won in blowouts, and she anchored the relay team that had to come from behind victory to win gold as well. Wilma Rudolph was the first American woman to win three gold medals in a single Olympics. She became an overnight sensation. Wilma Rudolph returned home from the Rome Olympics to a hero's welcome. When she learned that her ticker tape parade was to be segregated, she refused to attend and forced a change. Wilma Rudolph Day was the first integrated event in municipal history in the city of Clarksville, Tennessee. Wilma Rudolph was only 22 years old when she retired from competitive sports in 1962. She decided to go back to Tennessee State University and she got her degree in teaching and she became a teacher. Rudolph would go on to coach track at Indiana's DePaul University, serve as a goodwill ambassador to French West Africa, and raise a family of four children. Wilma Rudolph was inducted into the Black Athletes Hall of Fame in 1973, the National Track Hall of Fame in 1974, and she wrote her own autobiography titled Wilma, which was turned into a TV movie in 1977 called Wilma. Wilma Rudolph died of brain cancer at the age of 54 on November 12, 1994, in Nashville, Tennessee. One of the most prestigious awards in women's sports is the Wilma Rudolph Award of Courage, given by the Women's Sports Foundation. Wilma Rudolph is a huge inspiration to me and to many others, and really that is her legacy.